Hey guys, I'm Shark from Team Burst again, and as you can tell, I'm a bit sick. Uh, that's why I didn't record yesterday. I sleep very early, and now I wake up at 3 a.m. It's literally 3 a.m. But yeah. Uh, so today we're gonna talk about the music dancing colossus. <clears throat> I'm still a bit sick, but not as much as yesterday. Yesterday I literally can't walk, talk. <laughs> It's just so bad. Now I can talk a bit. So this might be a short one, even though this card is pretty interesting. I'll talk about the grade four uh, in the afternoon when I feel a bit more better, even though that card is not that good. But you know, let's talk about the card that I'm most excited in these two cards. So his name is Music Dancing Colossus. His skill is auto on rear guard. When placed, buying a card from your hand, during this turn, when your opponent call a card from hand to Guardian Circle, they must call two or more at the same time. So battle door. So, of course, this card is very good, especially because this card act skill activate for the rest of the turn. This means that any attack is battle door. So, so just that alone is already better than the grade two that discard a card. Though that card interact with other discard card like Chrono Two and the Great Two, but this card Bina card so that benefit something like Lost Legend going to Mystery Flare and stuff, so that's great. So it advantages it gets stronger with more multi attack. So this card is basically a one card plus two and uh, plus one uh, plus one more guard in every attack a time leap attack go. So time leap is gonna be pretty powerful, especially if you watch my combo, which uh, it's in my Gear Chronicle time leap deck profile. If you want to check out, uh, I explain the combo, and basically on your first strike, you usually get around seven to eight attack, which is great. Which mean just that on first strike alone, take a fourteen card from your opponent, and on your Gear Groovy turn, you usually do twelve attack. So that mean that take another twenty four of your opponent. And that mean 24 Man 24 card. I don't think anyone have 24 card. It's also an on play skill so it activate when time leap So this might not be called right away. This might be called like during at the middle of the time leap, which is understandable Which is still great even if you do it in the middle of gear groovy. It's still great You go like six attack around seven attack before you can time leap a grade three you can use it then that then you can have seven so seven guard at at the very least of course then the extra five must be ten so 17 card i don't think any clan have that yet so that's still great and it also binds the work with lost and mystery flare already said that the disadvantage of this card is uh it doesn't work with card that discarded so this card binary card so it doesn't work with chrono 2 it doesn't work with grade 2 uh, but yeah that's not much of a huge problem because it still benefit uh, mystery flare and uh, idealize which is still great um, another thing is is minus one either way minus one to make your opponent minus one for every attack that's better but I would say minus one is still a disadvantage even though it's not that much of cost for what it can do uh, another bad thing is just no force but this is not much a problem for time leap in my opinion in standard it might be but in time, you can just run one copy of it. And if it go to the damage zone or drop zone, as long as you can heal it to the drop zone, you can recycle it back with tick away. Um, if it get bind, you can shuffle it back with under Lulu. Uh, so it definitely is fine. One copy is fine. Um, I'm, I'm tempted to run Rifana because if you call it in, the, in your first time leap, when you G guard Rifana, you can shuffle it back and call Uvatar so you can time leap it. Then... After you put that into the deck, you can use time to back again for the next attack. So this card is pretty solid. Uh, I definitely have more to say, but I'm a bit sick, and I know you guys are getting tired of my sick noise voice. So let me get this over with, and interaction, there's not much interaction with being bind. Uh, of course, that thing is very strong with time leap. I'm definitely going to make a deck profile of time leap after uh, this set came out. Definitely gonna do more when the trial deck and the stuff come out. I'm very excited. I can make a lot of build right now. 
Uh, I'm planning to make a Kuro Fang, then Lost Legend, then Grand Strike. If you don't know where that card exists, but that card is actually can make a solid build if you're going for budget. Of course, Grand Strike is not available in English. And I'm also planning to make a Timeless deck. Uh, this doesn't work that much with CTB. It still works, of course. But I don't say it's as good in CTB since you can't search it. Because CTB can only search for CTB. It's very archetype specific. But it's still great nonetheless. But yeah, I'm having a headache. But <laughs> I'm a bit better than yesterday. I hope I can record this afternoon. If I can't, then I'll just make the video on Wednesday. Sorry for the inconvenience, but I'm very sick. Uh, it's a good thing at least I can record this video. The card rating, I would give it 3.5 because in standard it's not too great. In premium it's great, but of course it's just a uh, it's it's a good card. Don't 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 get me wrong, but it's not a card that would change money in my opinion because gear main problem is usually that they die before striding. It's kind of like Buster, but weaker. Something like that. Because you die by Luard, I mean not Luard. You die by Neo Nectar, Gold Potion, rushing you to death. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I'm probably very sick of my sixth voice. So let's give this rating for art. The art is amazing in my opinion. So I'll give it four, four or five. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry that I'm sick, but can't be helped. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and remember, keep playing. Oh,